Hi friends, I am Swetha Kaushal and we are in conversation with Umar Riyaz, Big Boss 15 contestant. Welcome Umar. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, now uh, for this season, we'll have doctor, lawyer, engineer as contestants on the show. And uh, the show is often criticized for uh, having discussions around petty things. Do you think that will change? Uh, obviously, we're going to be talking about when, when, when we will sit down, we're going to talk about the backgrounds, we're going to talk about how educated who are, who is and how what about the previous life. Obviously, things are going to unfold and uh, some professionalism is going to be showed or some talk about the profession is going to be there. So I'm sure key people, as you mentioned, engineers, lawyers and doctors, they will relate to the uh, relate to us talking. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, things are going to change. Obviously, the intellect will be higher. Uh, if they are more educated people, the uh, maturity level also they bring with them. So, yeah, things are going to be different, I would say. And uh, what is the one thing that you're looking forward to doing inside the house? What are you going to do? See, I'm going to be, I'm going to be all out. I'm going to give my 100%. I'm going to be uh, doing all the tasks, whatever comes in front of me. And uh, I'm going to be playing the game with all that zeal and confidence. And people will see that, yes, he wants to win this show. When you were in the house, you were very aggressively supporting him. Will you be as aggressive and reserved? Or will you be... Obviously, obviously. See, if you can see my energy when I'm supporting my brother. You'll be able to see, you can imagine the energy when I'm doing it for myself. So, there's going to be, energy is going to be twofold more. But are we going to see a jovial side of yours as well? Sorry, which side? Jovial side, a more lighter side of you. Lighter, yeah. Because I, I, I am a calmer person. I, I, I stay calm. But the thing is, uh, but when I get uncom uncomfortable or people, uh, they try to, uh, you know, dominate me, then I lose my thing, I would say. So they're going to see calmer side as well and they're going to see that aggressive side as well. And what really triggers you? A disrespect, I would say. People trying to oppress me, dominate me. I cannot take that. Are you open to any sort of... Uh romantic bond on the show? Uh, romantic. <laughs> See, I would say uh, I'm all open. I would say I'm going to pour my heart out if somebody, I like somebody or I don't know about love. I'm, 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 I'm right now I'm 30, 30 years old and I don't fall in love like with the beauty. I fall in love with how people are, how, how, how mature they are, uh, how, how much fire is in them to get something in life. So, those are the things which attract me. Obviously, beauty takes it is there, but uh, so love I won't say. But yeah, I'm gonna the likeness is gonna be there if I like someone. So I'm going. I'm surely looking forward to that. What is the one thing that uh, irritates you or gets on your nerves, but you don't want to fight for? I don't want to fight for petty things like uh, chai, like you know, mean food. I, I hate when people will tell me that you cannot eat this, this is not in the ration or those fights I think are very petty, like food, uh, uh, like chai, mostly people fight on chai as well. Those petty things I don't want to fight. Now, yeah, people are disrespecting me or saying bad things to my friend. Those are things I, I will want to fight and take a stand. But these small things, food and work, like, cleaning if the people are trying to you know trying to say bad things uh, those things will trigger me